All right, everybody. Hey. Welcome to Zombie Talk and uh, why Joseph thinks zombies are useless. Uh, talk. Oh yes. Um. So, as we started in the first one, you know, first off, we had the human factor, which is, hey, are you going to? Just it, gonna sit there and like take it? No, you will fuck up some zombies. Hell yeah. All right. Because everyone always has that dearly. That, that's the thing about those movies. The it's zombie always, plan. A lot of people have like a if zombies invade plan, you know. You know, and it, it's kind of a like a if that's the if the shit hits the fan plan. It's not yeah. necessarily just for zombies. Oh yeah, I don't know where that last one went. Huh. Good yeah. luck. Uh, maybe I got him and yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe we'll find out. Interesting. And she's just sort of disappearing. Uh, yeah. You shot her in the head. Good. All right. So continue. Oh yeah. So. Uh, that's the key. That's the key. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now, okay, let's just go through a couple things about being a human. You have regenerative powers. Yeah. You regenerate after a boo boo, or yeah. a cut, or falling down the stairs. Yeah. Or you know things. All of the above. Except for things that will li- literally kill you. Yeah. So up until a point. Yeah. Like you can't regenerate limbs, but you can stop the area that's being destroyed. So, cool. Yeah. All right, you uh, you done do, you done doing your deed of zombieism, right? All right, I was like, okay, as a zombie, right? What happens if you fall? You you trip. You're gonna you're gonna possibly dangerously hurt something or well, you, like okay, so damage a limb or yeah, like without the without the regenerative regenerative powers of a human body, yeah, we lose a lot of things. We break down. Yeah. So, like, even the, what we think is simple as falling over, that would can result in a broken leg yeah. for a zombie. Absolutely. Well, and um, not to mention, just the act of moving breaks down muscle. Yeah. And that's how we can become stronger. Yeah. They wouldn't have that. They'd become weaker and weaker every yeah. day. So, okay, so that that's one part, right? Now, the next part is one of my favorite ones on that. It's, the like, again, it's that regenerative factor, but this one's with healing uh-huh the human body has this fantastic power of you know taking or taking sun and cold and you know trying to let your blood stop that what like, do you mean okay so with heat your body will sweat oh yeah with uh cold your body will try to warm up you know you'll do things or goosebumps factors. and yeah shivering and whatnot. if you don't have any of those things you're like okay in arid like in oh shit Good luck here, because I don't even know how you... Jump, Gypsy! All right. Nope, no jumping. Close and... Oh, damn. I was like, I thought that was going to work. Wait, where'd the key go? Maybe it's up there still. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see if there's a shooter in uh, B prompt in this room. Okay. So, with extreme heats and cold, like desert and tundras, yeah, that makes sense. But even just simple, like, San Diego's, you know, perfect weather. Yeah. A oh. day where the sun's beating on you? Huh. Well, I guess you might have glitched it out. That's exciting. Uh, what the hell? Um, let's see. So, there's that. Um, there's my favorite. And then my, my favorite factor. How are zombies created? Oh, yeah. Like, it's, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Just go by any of the a- average lores. Like, don't like worry about the weird science about it. Like rage, like zombies. Yeah, not 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 like twenty days later. Not like just like zombies are created because they get bitten by a zombie, right? Oh, okay. Like that thing, right? Sure. Well, it's not tip. The typical like modern day lore is everybody has the virus and it takes a hold of you when you die. Being oh. bitten simply kills. Oh no! You. See, you're doing that's Walking Dead. Well, that's Walking Dead. It's also every Romero film and the Zombie Survival Guide and World War Z. What did they do then? World of Z? I thought World of Z just went bullshit. Oh wait, are you talking, talking about, about, about the book? book? Okay, good. Talking about the, um, the but movie. no, like yeah. the <laughs> the problem is is that like that kind of that lore too takes a very weird angle too. But regardless, like it's infection. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. So, but we'll go we'll go by like the first thoughts of it, right? Like you have to get killed. Usually, it's usually by a zombie or something, right? Yeah. Some something kills you. Yeah. Something will kill you. Out uh, and we'll just factor in that it's you versus zombies, right? Sure. And we'll say that you had another friend with you, right? Okay. And, uh-oh, your friend fell over. He gets eaten, right? Oh, okay. What's stopping them? What, what 
is instinctively stopping them from continuously eating that person until they don't exist anymore? The zombies? Yeah. Um, okay, so from, like, say, the zombie survival guide, yeah. which we've read, or I've read, yeah. the, the goal of the virus is to infect as many hosts and reproduce. Well, no, here's the problem, though. Hmm. Zombies, they, uh, and especially how their lore is, they're hungry. They're going to keep eating. That's the fact. Yeah. No, they eat, right? Well, I think that maybe early observers of zombies, you know, if you're going, like, historically, were thinking that they were alive and that they were hungry, but really well, the virus is literally just using the mouth as a reproduction. Well, see, that's a problem, then, because that means there's a symbiotic con controller there. Mm -hmm. That means they wouldn't move mindless. And they do move mindless, so that's the thing. Yeah. Like, and again, I'm not talking... It's all reptile brain yeah. only. And again, I'm not thinking... I, and again, I keep saying this. It's not infected. It's zombies. Sure. Infected is a is a bullshit term that people have been using recently. Yeah. Because after... Uh, and, like, it's been there around. But, like... Ooh. Oh. Um, after that whole... Uh, what's the thing called? Oh, well, 28 days. 20, yeah, 20 days. The... That's where the infected first started. Yeah. And even though people call them zombies still, they're now infected. Because now they're having more powers or, like, they're actually able to move. What the hell? Uh, either that, or they're killable by not just headshots. Yeah, which then that, that should be normal. Yeah, like, and so okay, and okay. We'll just I'll, I'll even take from your factor of the infection, right? Okay. What's keeping them alive from that point? Uh, if if it's the zombie virus, then it has uh, grown beyond the requirement for oxygen. Well, that's not just oxygen though. That's a problem. What about the rest of the the regenerative uh, properties of a, the body existing? It it doesn't. So, with that, how do zombies survive? They don't. Exactly. I mean, I I get what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah. So I, the, I three three weeks might be a little short depending on how active the zombie is. If it's yeah. a very active zombie, absolutely. No, three weeks actually would be anything. That's uh, within our base of human uh, of the human physiology. Uh huh. That's the longest you can survive without water. Oh, sure. But keep in mind that the it will stay alive. Oh, oh okay. So if I drop, they, I bet you they reset. Let's go yeah. take a look. That's that's assuming that it's it's a living organism. It really, well, at this point, it's just a vessel for a living. The brains are the only thing that are have any consciousness or requirements well, at all at this point. Now, see, that one, that does change that too, though. Because mm -hmm. that's going by, okay, so... Because you said the wrong, the wrong, the term there was living organism, right? Yeah. And zombies are an undead organism, right? Sure. They're 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 a time bomb, no matter what. Oh yeah, absolutely. So like, the way that I understand it, and the way that it's been explained in like either Zombie Survival Guard or World War Z, to sort of go by the Romero style, is that the vessel, the body, is just a housing for an infected brain. If the brain is still connected to the body, then it can control it. Um, but the body isn't going to require anything. In fact, it could survive underwater, in space, whatever. Um, it, the, it diminishes or it totally removes the requirement for oxygen to the brain. So yeah. blood well, is no longer needed. Well, they, no, that's not, yeah, those things aren't needed. Yeah. But the things you just said mm -hmm. all have problems with that. Yeah. Because, okay, um, underwater. Yeah. Just by the soggy part of body right oh yeah yeah you become it, a bloated mess within a day yeah or or even pressure which is space side mm -hmm. like all those factors i always feel like the only way people can justify anything for zombies to survive mm -hmm. is you have to make and and i'm not trying to be mean to it bullshit factors oh sure like that's why you never see any of those zombie stories mm -hmm. really have a true beginning of how everything got infected oh yeah 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 absolutely yeah and that's what sucks like because like because that means you have to imagine everybody was really stupid that day yeah like hey bob what are you doing ah some guy somebody's lunging at your ass yeah. not, not many people just keep their arm out yeah and like hey stop uh yeah. no you you retract back. Yeah, you do. Or, you you know, you use a leg or something. Yeah. Um, there are two factors that I do have to also say that are... It's actually my favorite factor. 
the human brain is a is has one of my favorite things in the world for ooh, that's a bad pit for you probably um the human brain has some uh, has limiters uh-huh we as a species can do so many amazing things but if we did them at their most amazingness we'd break ourselves in seconds oh sure that's why the zombies can usually crush things with their jaws. Oh, because they don't have pain. and They, they don't have not. pain. They don't have limiters, so they just can crunch. Yeah. But after just a few of that. Yeah. yeah. No, even just one. Like, if they have no control and they had even the slightest amount of bad teeth. Sure. That jaw is gone. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, walk to the side of it? The edge? Yeah. I don't know. Man, it's like, this is like giving us nothing. Oh, nope. shit. Like, this is giving us nothing on this how to is, get through. Yeah, because I was going to go the way I came in, but every time I jump off that ledge, yeah. the key is gone. Yeah. This is really awkward. I know. So, But I found two of the keys. Hooray. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, right. So, but overall, like, I, like, my biggest problem whenever somebody's like, the zombie thing, like, my, like, and this is, where, this is where it's getting to this point. My zombie survival guide, or my plan, has been the stupidest plan ever. What's like that? it, like if if it was infected, if it was just Zarya zombies, I'd be fine. See, what I do is, I go up some stairs, right? And then you demolish the stairs. No. Oh. Then I just put a a small barricade. Okay. Usually something stronger than, okay. If I'm lucky, there's gonna be a nice solid wood door. Sure. Something, you know, okay. like something solid. Like I'll even say maybe I had a good table there. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, if I'm lucky. I, again, these are all lucky factors. <laughs> I had food. And I usually I can... And we'll, okay, if we're going by how I stock my house, usually we have, I'd say, about two weeks of food. Oh, wow. Easily. And we could... And that's and this is without sure. rationing. Yeah, okay. So assume you, you know, you went on a shopping trip earlier yeah. that well, week. Yeah, uh, like, we'll say the day before I went on a shopping trip or something. You know, something happened. Like, nothing... Like, it was out of the blue, but I still had these things. Yeah. At mm. that point, all I'd do is wait it out. Oh, absolutely. Like, I'd be the hope, laziest plan ever. Hope the National Guard or whomever, the Marines, yeah. get in there and do their thing. And Yeah. Like, and the funnier one I had for that was, like, it's like, oh, man, what if you, what if you don't live on a second story? Then I guess I'm going to go uphill. Oh. Yeah, just, like, all these really simple things. Yeah. And, like, my friend's like, okay. Okay, so let's go through the bigger scenario of this. So what would happen if it was the bad infection, the, all that stuff? Okay, what do you do? All right, all right. So I can do whatever, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, so I'm not going to Costco because everybody and their mom's going to fucking Costco. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, like, a police station because everybody and their mom's going to go to a police station. I'm going to steal a news helicopter. Oh. And then I'm flying to a uh, one of those oil rigs. How would you know how to helicopter? You know, that's a factor for future me to find out when that happens. <laughs> Maybe you should start researching helicopter. Yeah, I don't care. Because if it's zombies, like either I'm dead or not. Like I'm, like nah, I'll try man. to. I, like if I get the chance to survive, sure. But if we're talking like you know the infected things, I'm pretty fucked. You know, you just gotta prepare. Look, there's more things to prepare for in life. Nah. Like finals. Oh. Look, if a zombie comes at me, you'll just Japan them to death. What? That's your final, right? No, it's Japanese, but Japan them is a, that's a. Well, that doesn't even make sense as a statement. Exactly. That's why it's perfect. Man, this is confusing. Uh, here, I'll try to read real quick. Yeah. This end, So ends this podcast. Uh, <laughs> actually, we almost finished 15 minutes. You know, let's finish this podcast while you try to figure this oh, out. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, no. Uh, but overall, like, even like, okay, because if you're giving the zombies some bullshit factors, like, I get my bullshit factors. Oh, you mean like Resident Evil style? Yeah. Okay. Like, if you get any of their bullshit factors, like any of these, like Romero or anything like that, if they get their bullshits, I get my bullshit. That means I know how to fly out of the helicopter. At least in the Romero stuff, all the zombies are the same. Yeah. They're all the mindless. You kill, shoot them in the head, you're good to go. Yeah. I wonder if... No, I can't go that no, way. No, you that, die. That looks definitely like death. But I can say I do enjoy the genre overall. Mm -hmm. Because always, always, somebody has to fuck it up for everyone else. Oh, yeah. Like, it's never been like, hey, oh, shit, the zombie's fighting. Oh, okay, let's work together. Oh, together. Yeah, and that's the thing. And that's what makes those movies. It's the human factor of seeing how people work together. Speaking of zombies and people not working together, uh, Walking Dead Season 7 just had its mid-season finale. Oh, shit. 
That mid-season stuff, man. What do you think about that? Um, Just in general. You know, as soon as they made a big deal out of it, that's when I've not been used to it. Well, yeah. We'll probably we'll talk, we might be able to talk more about that as soon as this happens. But don't die, Brian, or else you're going to lose all your lives, and now we have to restart. <sighs> I don't know where we restart, oh, too. We don't have any keys, so... Yeah. Okay. All right, all right everybody. All right. See ya. Bye.